And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam Nostalgia. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and we are continuing our adventure in the Forgotten Caverns, which was made by Sunny Visions and Shadow Visions. Last episode, we took on the mines. Today, we are going to head in that direction. There is an area back there. We are moving super, super fast because of our boots, and honestly, there were so many things that I wanted to do in the shops and potions and all kinds of stuff, but there's just so much to do, so, so many things that you can try out that it kind of becomes overwhelming. Uh, Iridescent Cove is where we are headed next, which sounds exciting. This, this is interesting with the pink and the white and the blue. It kind of reminds me of like Easter which I'm sure, we're, uh, well, who knows, maybe we will encounter some, some rabbits in here, some, some Easter bunny rabbits, <laughs> that would be hilarious, make for an interesting area, uh, okay, water, let's go ahead and take out Mr. Creeper, water, and guardians, oh, oh, leaf monster, okay, interesting, Go ahead and hop up here and see what we have in store for us. I will definitely take the apple. Uh, and up the staircase we go, it looks like. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, we're floating, we're floating. <laughs> okay, interesting. But I'm assuming we just want to continue on then. Guardians don't really pose much of a threat from the looks of it unless we fall in the water, although we do have Depth Strider. There's also a chest over in that direction. Let's go ahead and eat the yummy, yummy breads. Uh, you got, you know, give me a boost there, guy. Thank you very much. Oh, gosh. Okay, can we get over here? Okay, we're going to go this way then. This is what we're going to do. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, okay. Interesting. We're still flying. Okay, we're down. We're down. Oh, there's floating spiders, too? Uh, huh. I think the spider may have just climbed up there, to be honest. Oh, they are, they are going after each other, though. Gosh dang it. I actually, despite it being overused in Super Hostile Online, I, I really enjoy the levitation mechanic. I think you can have a lot of fun with it. Oh, oh, okay. And thankfully we are in a little thing that's going to prevent us from levitating too far up. And they even drop their... drop their arrows. Arrow of levitation. Okay, I don't know if we want to use that right now. It almost feels like it's getting... like a little laggy. I don't know, the mob movements seem off to me. Uh, so we could just use these arrows. Oh, I see the objective. Yeah, we could just use these arrows to float right up to the objective. That would be that would be interesting to try. But for now, let's just just move on. And my my neighbors always with the best timing with their freaking shower, and I know that their bathroom is like right on the other side of this wall where I record. Oh, yeah, sure that works. Yeah, there, there's definitely something weird going on. Uh, like, the mobs are moving in funky ways. I heard an archer. I think he's back over here. Those guardians are super annoying. Should definitely <laughs> take out the spawners. If you're... Yeah, you see that? You see how slow they're moving? I wonder what's causing that. That's not good, though. That is certainly not good. Oh, they have jump boost, is what the spiders have. Uh, that should work. Oh, I'm not even eating now. Uh, I don't know if this is just on my end, or if it's the... If it's the map or what? How are we supposed to get to it exactly? It looks like it's supposed to wrap around over here. 
Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. Also looks like there might be something going on. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Hello there, Mr. Archer dude. And we can kill you before you can even target us. Because you're moving in slow motion. Jump! Woo! Okay, so this is going to be white wool then. I wonder if we were supposed to come here first. We'll take a few of those guys. And water bucket. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump down, shall we? Oops, that's the wrong direction. That is the wrong direction as well. Okay, okay, we're okay. Maybe, kind of, sort of. It seemed seemed a little on the easy side, but if that's the first area we're supposed to go to, then it wasn't too bad, and we did almost die. Although it's largely because we're wearing these boots. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready to go into the third and final area. Uh, my armor's looking just fine. We just need to drop off the wool and drop off any goodies. And I'm going to see if restarting the game clears up the lag. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and place this first. All right, lovely. And the third and final area, I think, is down the stairs. Or down the ladders, I mean. We only have one enderpearl. If we had more enderpearls, we could get a pretty awesome shield. Uh, but we're going to have to wait on that. Okay, I think that may have helped. One other thing I might try is to lower my view distance a little bit. That might have something to do with it. Lava themed area. I think it's t uh, called the magma chamber. With a castle and lots and lots of bats. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Oh, we're playing on. Well, maybe that's why it seems so easy. But let's uh, let's turn this down a little bit, and hopefully that will help. All right, well, I want to start off by taking some of these amazing, amazing potions that we have. Probably one of those guys and one of those guys, I think, is what I want to do. Um, yes, yes, yes. All right. Elixir of Refreshing and Elixir of War. Go ahead and take both of those guys, and let's go ahead. I'm going to eat an apple, too, just so we have the absorption hearts. Uh, baby spiders. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't realize what we were getting ourselves into here. Uh, lots of blaze. Oh gosh. Give me my water back. Give me my water back. Lots of blaze. Flaming baby spiders. Uh, I think this is where we want to be going, although it seems oddly calm. I think we may be experiencing some lag again. There goes Mr. Gast. And there you go. Let's take out the blaze. Or I see a chest back there. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can we just shoot you off the edge there, guy? Oh, not, not quite, not quite. There we go, there we go. We got it. We got it, and there's clearly flame skelly archer dudes up here. Let's see if we can take them out. Uh, do something like that. And then like that. Uh, <laughs> I think he died to my thorn, so that was pretty funny. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Where are you at, Mr. Blaze? And once more, oh gosh, better eat, better eat. Ooh, that was close. And these blades seem to be very persistent and strong. Although maybe I'm just not actually hitting them when I think I am. With a chest and a spider that's dying from something. 
Uh, cover me with diamonds. Fire protection five. Yeah, I think we want that, even though it is fire protection. And right, let's go ahead and eat another apple. And maybe take some more potions. Uh, sure, we'll take some of that. And... Some of that, maybe? Why not? Why not? A water bucket on the bar. Uh... Lava. And... Oh, okay. Well, here it is. Red wool has been gotten. And let's just go ahead and escape then. Oh, don't do it, guy. Don't do it. I didn't really have to kill you. I just kind of wanted to try to do it. I don't know why I'm taking these out. We should just be leaving. Okay, let's leave now. Let's leave. We can leave. Yeah, it kind of, kind of felt a little easy. Um, it looks, it looks pretty good. I feel like the ceiling needs something. But overall, the the map was was, you know. Pretty, pretty good looking, very detailed. Uh, I really liked the city thing in the middle and all the shops and whatnot, although it did feel overwhelming and it feels better suited to like a full length map so that you can actually make use of it. Uh, given that this is only three objectives, there's just not enough time to really use a lot of the stuff that's offered. Uh, and there were some nice kind of... Uh, things that reminded me of, of earlier maps, so it fit with the theme of the jam, but overall the diff the uh, the difficulty level and just the gameplay seem to be kind of lacking. I know in their last map I really enjoyed the first area, but then everything after that was kind of, um, kind of disappointing. But again, it, it, it always looks good. Always, always looks good. Anyways, you guys, uh, I think there's one other map in the Nostalgia Jam from Skepticism, so we should be playing that next, and it's, from what I understand, it's a throwback to, or it w was inspired by Inferno Mines, uh, much like the mine area in this map. So we have that to look forward to, but uh, for now, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.